Man, this is going to be one of those very different type of uh, visits that we have because we're going to look at an absolute turd today. And that's the only way I can describe this hunk of trash. This is Beast Wars Optimus Minor, and he's more awful than I even thought he was. We're going to jump into it all in the latest Got by True review. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your humble host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you're at it, man, that's right, hit that notification bell because it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, Transformers, Collectors, NL, and the Autobot family, and have a look for me everywhere across social media, and this is Optimus Minor, and it's not good. Um, I'm sorry. If you're a big fan of this, um, because I'm not, you're not gonna like this. You're really not. There's a little while ago, I did the top ten worst Transformers in my collection. I don't own this guy. This is on loan to me. Had I owned this guy, he would have been a high contender for number one. There's virtually nothing I like about this. Why? Well, let's find out when we head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. And man, I wish I could tell you that this was going to be a glowing review, but I think you've already got the idea by now that it's not. This is awful. Um, it's just, it's terrible. The question is, why is it terrible? Well, let's start off in monkey mode. And yes, it is a monkey. Optimus Miner's a weird character. He wasn't on the show. I think he's had a life in comic books. Overall, I believe his characterization, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, man, but I believe his characterization is basically like a, a young bot and he jokes a lot even at inappropriate times but he's brave maybe a little foolhardy but at the same time then his bio on his original packaging says that he was part of like Megatron's cloning experiments and that he has like uncontrollable rage issues or something in fact even in some continuities he is the apparent son of that's right, Optimus Primal. Um, okay. This is idiotic. Uh, you know, we have a gorilla, we have a monkey here. Uh, you know, it looks pretty natural, parent and child. It, you know, if the parent is a gorilla and the child's a, a, a monkey and the gorilla parent has huge shoulder cannons. I don't know. I don't even know anymore, man. As you have probably already figured out, I don't think much of this alt mode. <sighs> Here's the thing. Like, the coloration of, I, I'm going to say gunmetal gray. Maybe it's a gunmetal brown. I'm not even sure. And red is fine. I don't really dig the, all the chrome. I get it. He's transmetals too. I get it. But I don't really dig all the chrome on him. It is gaudy. Especially when it goes up against the gold paint that is on the terribly sculpted head. I think that this is an awful head sculpt. Right now, his tail is helping him to stand. Without it, he really struggles to stand at all. I'm not, like, there's the tail holding him off, basically, right? I don't know, I wish I could say that I like this, but I don't, and I... <sighs> we'll do the transformation, and then I'll talk about all of his scores and his size and everything else after, because there's some weird oddities. But before we do the transformation, I will run through the articulation as best as I can here. So what do we have? We have a head that don't move. At least, I can't get it to move. We have shoulders, like shoulder pads that kind of move, and the shoulders can go out. We do have an elbow, but he has like the open palm, you know, hand. Now his hand does move, but it's open palm like he's, like he's begging. Um, you can turn that so it's in, but then you ironically have the gorilla arms that go across. He can go across his chest just fine. I suppose you could say he has a bicep swivel because of the ball joint at his elbow. The elbow is 90 degrees. Um, the legs kind of go forward, sort of like, I guess that's a knee? I don't even know, man. It can go across his body like that. It, I don't know if you think that's good. Hips are to the side. I guess they were trying to mimic it you know, back, kind of. I guess they were trying to mimic, that always likes to pop out as well. The movements of a, a monkey, I don't know if they succeeded. I find it cumbersome. There's a lot of joints, and I don't find any of them to move smoothly or effectively. 
Maybe you do, and it's just this copy, or maybe I'm just the Butterfingers, but I, it doesn't... Nothing feels good. That's what I'll say. Nothing feels good about this. So, we're going to get into the transformation. Um, you can score some poses, but only if you got the tail. Without it, that's what happens. You know, he... Can you stand him up without the tail in there? This way, in monkey mode. Um, yes, you can with work, and he looks awful. You know, I'm just saying. So we're gonna, we're gonna sort of get things. Maybe I could, maybe I can lean him forward a bit this way. Maybe, can I, can I get something? There, I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's good. Let's get into the transformation. Okay, so let's get into this and we're going to take the head and we're going to just pull that all the way forward. We're going to turn this around because this will be his chest later on. These um, monkey arms here, you pull them out basically to the side and then you want to try and rotate them, which again, it's not the easiest thing to do. There, you can push the chest down and rotate it and then straighten that hand out and again, Rotate it forward and up and straighten that out and once you have that done in the chest kind of down a little bit You can actually turn this guy over because and he does stand up better on these because now We have his lower body done now one thing worth noting is that one side of this is the chest of the monkey the other side of this is the chest of the robot this is the chest of the robot which means these legs need to go turned around at the knee, okay? Then we bring these down, and I guess you can take this down for now so that you have the room to rotate these, because you do need to rotate, again, on the ball joint of, I guess, basically the hip, and straighten this out, and bring this down. Same on the other side over here, turn it around, bring this down, straighten this out. Bring up the chest, like that, and then you bring the head over, you split the, the monkey head, you bring that over, and really, boom, in the end, here you have Optimus Minor in his awful robot mode. I'll note this now, by my thumb, you will see that we have a little peg, kind of like the pegs that we see on um, Siege and Earthrise offerings for uh, the blast effects, but in this case, it allows him to hold his tail as a whip, like this. What do you think? Think that looks good? Because I don't. Look at that hideous, gloopy face. I've seen KOs that have better faces. So let's get into the grades once and for all, and, you know, get out of here and forget this thing ever existed. The coloration, normally, I love a mix of black and red, and I do love it here. I don't like the gold with it. I don't like the chrome gold with it. And I don't like the dichotomy between the chrome gold and then the gold that's on his gloopy looking face. And where does this bit of green come in for his eyes? You have blue down in that section on his chest. Maybe the eyes should have been blue to tie in with that. It's too much going on and it doesn't work. You have too many warm colors and too many cold colors and none of it comes together nicely. I'm gonna give it a 10 objectively because really we don't have anything else to compare it to. But in terms of me liking how this comes together, it almost offends my eyes to see it. And I, I would personally subjectively score this a two or three. I think it's terrible looking. But a 10, I'm giving a 10 objectively because I don't have any animation really to compare it to. Maybe some comic books, but I don't really know the character well enough. So I'm gonna give it a 10, I'm being generous there. The transformation, I don't feel like anything locks in. I don't like the, uh, like, uh, uh, call it pads up on his thighs and on his shoulders. They make moving around those ball joints extra cumbersome and uh, it's unnecessary. I don't feel like anything locks in in either mode. It just sort of stays there with friction and it's supposed to be good. Um, I don't know, some people might like it. It's, it, you can get from one mode to the other, five at best. I don't think it's good. I really don't think it's good. Then we get to the articulation. Well, I already told you that I found it kind of bad in monkey mode. What about in this mode? Well, we have a head and it 
can move, but it doesn't really lock in anywhere, so it's not good. The shoulders go forward and they can go back. You will notice that there's a red hinge in here. It can't bend forward, but we can like turn it and like it becomes like a monkey elbow, I suppose. But why it couldn't be a regular elbow, I don't know. And we'll see that it kind of can work as a regular elbow in a way. The hips go forward, the hips go back. Again, he can bend in like that. I guess he has a knee to 90 degrees. He has feet that can move all around. Like his legs and his knees are fine. He doesn't have a thigh swivel, but the ball joint kind of fakes a thigh swivel. So, like, the waist down is okay. By the way, there's no waist. Waist down is okay. Waist up is hot trash. Now, is there a way to actually get an elbow? There is, by something that I would call a severe de uh, design flaw that serves no purpose other than to be a hindrance and look ugly. You can split the arm and, like, get... A front and back, like, is this supposed to be good? Is this actually a feature for something? I don't... This is not, it's not a good look. That is not a good look, is it? I think it... Like, there's lots of joints here, but none of them are efficient or effective. Overall, his articulation got to be a 5 as well, so we had... Begrudging 10, a 5, and a 5. Here he is compared to a couple of other characters so you can see how big or small he is. So here's a couple of things from different eras. We have Generations Rat Trap. I looked at him in episode 189. We have the universe, my custom universe, Dinobot. He was provided to me by Starscream Wife. Uh, and I looked at him, I think, in episode 454, if I'm not mistaken. And then we had... The big boss bot, Optimus Primal, who I looked at, I think, in episode 287, if I'm not mistaken. Obviously, this guy is a basics um, size class, which is about the size of a Legends. But overall, the only thing that I can really say is that he gets a cumulative score of about a 5. This is awful. It's terrible. If you've ever thought about getting Optimus Minor, save your money. Put it toward some other character, because here's the thing I love. Many of the originals. Go back, man. Check out uh, about a, I don't know, a year ago, maybe two years ago, when I focused a lot on Beast Wars. And there were so many great, clever offerings that came out in that line at that time that even stand the test of time today. This is not one of them. It's not good. It has a bad alt mode, it has a bad robot mode. It has a ton of joints, none of them function well, it doesn't look good, it has an ugly, gloopy face. I wish I could find something here to say that I like, but I can't find anything, unfortunately. Overall score of 5, and that's being real, real generous. And here we are once again, and this thing is a turd, it's pure crap. Um, it's ugly, it has a gloopy, ugly face. There's too many... There's too many colors, there's too much going on here, and none of it is cohesive. It's all asymmetrical. Yeah, even his eyes are asymmetrical, his chest absolutely is. I don't... I like red and black, but I don't like the chrome gold with the blue, and then the green eyes are... it's gaudy. The joints, there's a ton of joints here, but like, why does his arm split? This is stupid. This was one of the worst designed choices I've ever seen. Whoever came up with that should be fired because they don't know how to design anything. Uh, the, 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 yeah, like, there's an elbow here to go in or I guess you could turn it and I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there's a way to save this. I really don't. The lower legs are the only thing that's workable on it. I, I always try and find at least something because you know what? Every one of these characters is, like, has fans. Some a lot, some a little. But I, I'm dumbfounded. This is not... There you go. That's what I think about that. Let me know what you think about him. Do you actually like him? And if you do, please tell me why. What is there to like about him? 
You know I appreciate you coming by and giving me some of your extremely valuable time. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Though this might not be the best review to entice you to subscribe. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, there is a donate link down in the description. I very much want you to know that somehow, someway, each and every day you do make a difference. I implore you now, please, make smart choices for you and everybody around you. And I look forward, man, to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit either in the live streams on Thursday night at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way right here, man, inside the videos.